Hey guys, welcome back to Arm Sharks Cutting Edge. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, Byers Backpack Blower Rack, which is the cheapest, well, it's not quite the cheapest backpack blower rack you can get on the market, but for security purposes and for your equipment and everything, I think it's at the the best price point. Uh, this is the, buyer ba uh, the Byers Backpack Blower Rack here. Basically your backpack handle slips over like that onto it. And I'll show you here a depth wall you can see over there, but I'll show you a little demo on it real quick. But basically, uh, these things run at for $80 a piece. They used to be $60 last year, but with inflation and everything, so they're up right now. Um, I'm going to show you real quick with the smaller blower how to install it on here. And just like that, that's how you put it on. It's pretty... Pretty simple, same way you just kind of pull that fl flap down the slider off. This is where you put your lock in right here. It kind of basically keeps it so it won't c come down so nobody can steal it. The only downfall, if somebody did want to try stealing your blower, they could possibly just stick a bar right in there. And I mean, this is pretty reinforced, but they could probably bend that with a bar or something like that. That's the only downfall, but it keeps the, uh, the, honest, pers the honest person honest. But uh, for the most part, uh, yeah, they're, they're a good... Uh, they're pretty good. Um, the downfall, uh, one of the downfalls is, if you can see here, is that they kind of, they stick out. There's not really a way to put your, basically what I'm trying to say, your hose up. You can put it up like this and run a strap, but the issue I had, I tried it one time, is it, it almost bends the hose, like puts a crease in it, and it eventually it just cracks and breaks, and I just, I'm like, nah, that's that's probably not the right idea. So I just let them hang out like that. Um, also, the other downfall is uh, uh, when you you got to be careful when you leave them out like that because then when you're bringing the mower up, you can actually run it run over the the hose with your uh, front tire of your mower there. So you got to be careful there. Um, and that's the reason why I don't have them mounted on the side. I'd like to just mount them right over here on this side. But the issue is they'd hang straight out again and yeah you're just they're just in the way and you're gonna run them over with the mower so the best i found is to put them on the front the issue the one and only issue i have on the front is when you're driving your truck you tend to kick up a debris which flings like dirt and mud on it so if you're if you're if you're down back roads it sucks because you always it seems like at the end of the day you gotta wash all your equipment off and you should probably just do it anyway it's, you're you know keep everything clean but uh, yeah, that's one of the only other big downfalls about it. But uh, but I mean, for the price point and the functionality of it, I I give it. I mean, I give it about a six out of ten. I mean, for the the money, it's it's worth it as a starter. But compared to eighty dollars, and you can get you know a couple of blower racks for you know hundred and forty or whatever. Compared to uh, was it like your uh, Green Touch and your Equipment Defender? They're excellent blower racks, but they also run almost three hundred dollars. So that's a, <laughs> you know, for just a set of two of those, at six hundred dollars. So it's give or take, you know. It's kind of whatever you decide or whatever. But uh, eventually, I'm gonna upgrade these. I'm actually probably only gonna run one blower anyway. I mean, they they're new equipment. They should last long enough till I get another couple good uh maybe equipment defender blower racks but the reason i'm going to take this one off because my last last blower i i busted the end of the hose right off just because i ran it over in, in the front there so so in that circumstance i'm, I'm going to take this one off this one works great on this side just because it it literally it just sets right there you know you're not running anything along there usually so i mean for the most part that works perfect but uh this guy over here yeah uh <laughs> Uh, it, it's a pain in the butt. Let's just put it like that. So, um, like I said, when you try to cross it over and use a bungee strap, it just does not look right. I mean, it, it, it just cracks the hose. It just doesn't seem natural. To, it, ideally, you need to get a, a blower rack that holds it like this, like I think Equipment Defender does. But maybe one of these days I'll get one soon and make a video on it. But, uh, yeah, and it also basically you take a bungee strap to hold it in place. You so it ain't bouncing around you there's a little holes on each side you just run a strap over just like that and you're you're golden um but yeah then the the other negative downfall is i like to run the little blower as much as i can just with the fact that 
it is also like seven pounds lighter. So, I mean, when you're hoisting that thing up and down all day, it just it it's hard on your shoulders. So, but yeah, that's uh, that's what I got for today. I hope you guys liked the uh, the video there, and uh, please leave a comment, like, and uh, subscribe. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.